Hello poets, welcome to another poem a day. My name is James Tyner, I'm a librarian with Fresno County Public Library, and I'm also Fresno's first poet laureate. Uh, poem a day is a little show we're doing where we highlight a local Fresno Central Valley poet, read one of their poems, talk about their work, and um, the hope is to inspire you. April is National Poetry Month. Um, so we want to inspire you, show you what's going on in your community, and then hopefully you can get out there and write yourself. And if you feel very inspired, you can submit your poems uh, to Fresno County Public Library's Having a Poetry Contest. Uh, it's running through May 15th. You can submit your work. Go to fresnolibrary.org for more information. So today I'm very excited. We're going to talk about a poet by the name of Aideed Medina. Um, fabulous uh, poet, uh, very powerful um, and amazing, amazing on stage. Uh, one of my favorite people to watch uh, read their work. Um, Aideed was born and raised in Salinas, but is now here in the Valley and has been here for a long time. She is everywhere. She is um, works very hard. Uh, she's at a lot, many, many spoken word shows from Visalia's um, show there to the Inner Ear Poetry Jam all over. She's run several shows herself, um, organizes events all over the place, travels all through California organizing poetry events. Uh, she's very active in her community. She's worked with the Fresno Arts Council. Um, she even wrote poetry that was adapted into an opera. Um, she is currently the president of Reforma. Reforma is a library group under the American Library Association that um, works, specializes in bringing library materials um, to Spanish speakers and those of Latino background. Um, she does amazing work, and that's just a small fraction of all the things she does. Um, so this poem I'm going to read to you of hers is what I call an ode, an ode, or what's called an ode. And an ode celebrates a certain moment or an occasion from a birthday or um, a moment, something important. Um, so the piece that we're going to read uh, is something that she wrote to celebrate um, Juan Felipe Herrera uh, when he became the poet laureate of the United States. So let's read this, and hopefully one day you can get out there. We'll have links to the poem below, but you can hear her read herself. One of the most outstanding readers, um, just really good stuff. So. Uh, we'll have links to the poem, and the title is Upon Hearing That Juan Felipe Herrera Was Named the Next U.S. Poet Laureate by Aideed Medina. At this moment, my heart exploded into sunflowers. The tips of my fingers, toes, and tongues sprouted beautiful lush greens, allowing my words to pour out of vines that ripened into swollen squash with tender creamy yellow flesh, a new bloom with each step forward. The fruit settling along the ground I walk on, growing out in every direction. The squash open, seeds pour out at my feet, carrying poems on their newborn skin. This California is fertile. The people sow and grow dreams and songs into the land, the intensity of the heat and the tenderness of the sea mist guards and produces bounties. And on this day, every field crop burst out poetry. Every mountain and sand dune let words of all languages roll over them with no halt in sight. We have awakened to a new day, and I myself cannot remember what borders and limits feel like. Gracias. Thank you so much. Once again, that was Upon Hearing That One Felipe Herrera Was Named the Next U.S. Poet Laureate by I.D. Medina. Check out her work. Hopefully you can see her read one day. Uh, amazing poet. Thank you so much. This has been Poma Day, and I am James Tyner. Thank you. <laughs>